DreamWorks Curses returns for season 2, taking place not long after the first one ended, with their father Alex being free from his curse of being a statue from the last season. And now they continue to work together to restore the rest of the artifacts they have. This season though, there seems to be a mysterious figure not only watching them from afar, but also causing some chaos both in the house and wherever they go. So throughout the season, they are slowly but surely gathering the pieces together while also taking care of the cursed objects. This all leads to a twist of who's really been thwarting their plans. If you pay attention, you can actually figure it out before the episode that reveals it. I gotta say, this season was actually kind of a big surprise in a way that I already liked the show, but I think they have actually improved on it this season with its storytelling and scenarios, especially for character development. While the overarching plot can be predictable, and I predicted the twist a few episodes in, it didn't affect any enjoyment I had for the show. If anything, I actually enjoyed it more because I was just waiting for the characters to figure it out, and by the time they did figure it out, it was kind of too late, and the plan that the main villain had was already in full motion. This season's scenarios with returning the cursed objects, I actually found to be really cool for the most part. It's got a lot of fun premises. Although they've been seen before, they are done very well and giving characters more screen time and development, especially for the previous side characters like Stanley and Larry, getting more prominent roles and even going on trips with the family helping them at times, giving them development and throwing the characters into places they wouldn't have beforehand. The same can be said also about their pilot friend who brings them everywhere, Margie, also aiding them when the time comes and especially giving them the most help in them being able to restore everything that was stolen to begin with, with her plane, or else they'd have to pay for every trip they have ever gone on. This artifact is really spinning my propellers. I'm coming with you. There's also a new character, Pandora's friend, Devi, and she's given a good role in helping the family in various situations for like four episodes, which I can appreciate having a character not as a one-off, which so many shows like this do. She's got one episode to establish her character, and the following to help get her further into the cursed shenanigans the family has. And the first situation she's put in with both Pandora and Russ, I found to be a very cool premise of being in an escape room type board game filled with puzzles and tricks every turn, with her fully knowing there's more than what she's seeing there. I thought your parents were out tonight. Even Russ isn't this good. What's going on? Tell me the truth. I also always appreciate that the traveling gives the viewers more locations, monsters, and new designs to look at, keeping things fresh and something to look forward to for the next episode. I can also say the same with the variety of cursed objects this time around. They aren't all necessarily evil because they are cursed, some of them are just used that way and feel neglected by the previous user. The animation of the season feels the same as the first, nothing noticeably improved or decreased in quality, and I like and appreciate the style that they go for to stand out among all the other 3D animated shows. But yeah, other than the new locations, curses, designs, it's the same as before. So if you liked it then, then you'll like it again. Overall, I feel like I'm actually invested in the series now. I'm really rooting for them to get all their cursed items returned to where they belong. I honestly wasn't sure if this show was going to get a second season at all. I don't know what Apple TV Plus's ratings and consideration for another season is considered under, but apparently it was enough for the show to get another season and I'm hoping for at least one more season to give us a final conclusion at least. But I guess we'll have to see if it happens at all. A good series that I feel like can keep improving if given the chance. Let me know what you all thought of this season, or if you haven't seen the show yet, I do recommend it. It's on Apple TV+, so go ahead and give it a watch.